During the 2018 growing season, Iowa farmer Jason Derschmidt was asked to take a close look at Pancho Votivo 2.0 from planting to harvest. This is his first impression. I farm just west of Fort Dodge here. I've got about 3,400 acres of corn and soybeans. I started actually farming in 1995, so, but I've lived on a farm my whole life. I'm the fourth generation Dershmet farmer in this area. Hopefully it continues on to another generation. I've got two daughters and hopefully one of them decides at least to come back and give it a try. We're a conventional tillage operation. We do a deep ripping in the fall and then come in with the field cultivator in the spring and then follow up with herbicides. I've started going with poncho on everything now, either 1250 or the 2.0 this year, so all of my corn's treated. We use seed treatments because we try to plant as early as possible and the early season root development's the majority of what gets the plant going and determines what it's gonna be throughout the year. So anything you can do to improve what you've got early on is a huge improvement later in the year. Farmers like to get going as early as they can and it's not always the best conditions when it comes to cool, wet weather here. This new Poncho Mativo 2.0 seed treatment kind of gives them the comfort to get going in the field when they might not want to, but kind of need to. We've noticed more root growth, more uh, fibers off the roots. Better, deeper roots, we're getting down to moisture and nutrients that aren't available if we don't have the roots. Well, we've probably noticed about a five to 10 bushel increase from no treatment to what we're using now. The plant gets up faster, they're more even, they stay greener later in the fall and better plant health late in the season. For four generations, we've invested everything we have in doing the best there is for the land, so that's what we try to continue to do. We'll return to Jason's farm at harvest to see how Poncho Votivo 2.0 impacted yields.